cryptocurrency, play to earn gaming mechanics, and pixel art. Three things that I really like. I'm Boss, you're on the Boss Queen YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be looking at a play to earn, free to participate crypto gaming thing. It's actually basically integrated or basically overlaid on top of Twitter. And I think that's why many people will find it more interesting than if it was not. You could essentially, sort of, do what you're already doing and then earn some cryptocurrency tokens along the way as well as basically level up your character which in essence is basically an nft so expat approached us about doing a review and at an initial glance, I was pretty interested, right? I mean, we have something to participate with for free. You can do it on the desktop as well as mobile. And huge shout out to them for having good taste and supporting the Boss Coin YouTube channel. So at a glance, I, and honestly, in a way, I, I really like this. <laughs> this is their homepage. It's not one of those endless scrolling websites. It's, this is it. They have an audit done by Secure3, which I'll link out in the video description below. Uh, when you do connect it with your Twitter, it does not get really much access beyond basically being able to view your Twitter. It can't act on your behalf. So big fan of pixel art. You saw the graphic behind us. Uh, this is some from that. And we've done other things with pixel art over the years. And when I see, you know, play to earn gaming, I'm just kind of thinking, what's going to be the next Axie Infinity? Because I I don't really think Axie Infinity is going to be the next Axie Infinity again, right? Uh, but that was a very popular play-to-earn crypto game in the last bull run, essentially TLDR, right? Uh, but there's some issues, some exploits and things like that, uh, that really just brought that project down a few notches. So you can add this to your browser, which is what I've already done. You pretty much just click add, install, and then it's essentially a wallet. And again, as well as an overlay uh, for Twitter. You will need an invite code. Uh, so I encourage you to use your boy's invite code, which is right here. But I'll paste it down in the video description below to make uh, copying it uh, much easier. Uh, so in essence, it's a Ethereum wallet or Ethereum based wallet. We're actually operating on the Arbitrum blockchain here and there's not much else to it, right? Uh, it doesn't even force you to save your seed phrase up front. Uh, so I would have to export my wallet to essentially back it up, which I highly recommend you to do if you participate with this for a while. So I've already connected Twitter and I've already got my pet. Basically, there's a screen and it's rotating. You click and then you get one of them. I got the Luna Cat. It wasn't, wasn't my first choice. Um, I really wanted the fox that looks like tails. Um, or I would take the Arctic fox or the turtle or this cooler spooky cat. All right, I'm going to move myself over to the other side. So I'm going to call him Graybert. Yeah, he's, and he's a dude. It's Graybert the dude cat. Welcome aboard. I would love an ability to rename them or something. So let's actually use this a little bit and then we'll bring it back to the review of expat.tech uh, and these expats, right? The first thing you wanna do is click on your quest. You go over your available quest, right? Um, and you can do two daily quests uh, and I'll come back to that. And you also probably see the newbie quest uh, so you can go and do all these things. Um, I did these earlier, uh, but basically you come over to their Twitter and you'll see the chest icon somewhere on their tweets. You'll click it and then you'll reply and you've got to put XPED in the reply and uh, then you can claim the reward. I mean, I mean, it's farming engagement, right? And I'll talk more about the pros and cons of that and how I really think they could do it a different way uh moving forward here later on in the video as it stands it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and through the course of that you generate what's called b pet tokens and then there's also the x pet token i have enough coins here to simulate you know a couple weeks of participation so i want to upgrade to level two it's going to cost me 15 coins and, and you saw earlier in the video i opened a couple chests and you know i got these correlating uh, B pet tokens amounts. So when I pull my address up on chain, uh, there's no transactions taking place here on the actual Arbitrum chain. 
uh, representing these upgrade transactions uh, that I'm doing. Uh, and so I could do the first three upgrades for you know free, right? But now as I get to this upgrade, it introduces a transaction fee. When I look through their docs, I find a associated fee referencing the marketplace, right? And the marketplace, I can only assume here is going to be the store or buying a pet, right? I mean, that, that's, that's the marketplace. And so I just bought a freaking chicken wing, right? And that was successful. So it seems there's just no way getting around this fee on this upgrade. So I'm just gonna send our small bit of Ethereum on Arbitrum from my main Arbitrum hot wallet on MetaMask uh, to the Ethereum address that was generated uh, in the XPET uh, DAP, right? If you will, decentralized application. So when I click on my wallet here and I click deposit, I get this Ethereum address and that's where I just sent the Ethereum. You can see it's actually already here uh, and uh, represented here within the wallet. So I need 0.0002 ETH and it, it's still not recognizing it. So after refreshing, it's giving me the opportunity to actually upgrade here. I actually am farming the tokens. Uh, so it seems that at level five, an actual farming mechanism takes place. And so I guess the first upgrades are free and then you have to pay an Ethereum transaction later on. You can see the Ethereum in my wallet address has decreased, it's referencing it, right? And that transaction fee, uh, the previous one has been deducted uh, from this one. And now that I've upgraded again, my Luna Cat is level six. See him just running down there, what's up little guy? Now it's giving me the ability to spend 150 tokens and mint an NFT, which is going to be what's grayed out here, uh, which it's gonna be a berry farm. This is kind of simple, it's fun, it's, you know, cute, right? Uh, and I really enjoy this pixel art. Um, I hope that they're generating all this art in-house, uh, cause if so, that's really cool. I love supporting uh, artists that actually make cool things like <clears throat> pixel art. Uh, so, you know, when I really look close, I can clearly see that this berry farm is modeled after Greybird uh, because right here we have the Greybird berry farm logo uh, taking place. So you can claim this once every 10 minutes. And so this is my first time farming on XPets, so I will claim that uh, in 10 minutes. And I would look at upgrading the Luna Cat, Greybird. The price is lower than before but if I click on the berry factory icon, there's an upgrade option here, but you cannot upgrade your berry factory, which is your whole farming mechanic here. So in the pursuit of our new found berry farm, right? We farm it on the Bitcoin mining, crypto mining farm physically, and also digitally there, of course. And now we're farming here as well. And uh, we've also literally been farming. So I think I'm gonna run out of Ethereum. Should have said point oh oh two. All right, so now we're gonna be up to level 10. And level 10 is an important level because it also unlocks the PVE, PVP uh, mechanics as well. Uh, so when we look at PVE, we can attack this guy and there's an associated APR and we'll dig into that here in a second. There's also PVP, but I guess that is still coming soon. So now let's go back to the berry factory. We can increase the speed of the berry factory by 30% by sinking in 100 BPET tokens. And if you look at the current price that XPET is saying these tokens are worth. So I've spent about 400 tokens. There's an associated value of about $211 uh, per their DAP here, which means roughly 100 coins are like 50 bucks. I know it's a little bit more than that, but round numbers sound way better. So you can see at the top, I don't have enough coins for this. I need more B-Pets. You can click over here and unlock a second zone. This guy looks pretty tough. I'll be honest, I don't think Greybird can take him. Get him, Greybird. Get him, Greybird. Oh, man. Oh, man, he's dead. 
He's, he's not gonna make it. Oh, he's fighting back. He's going for the Wii. Oh my. Let's go, Gray Bird. I know you're a freaking wizard, dude. Wow. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. All right, so I'm just gonna let Gray Bird the Gray kind of do what he's doing in there. His health is still looking good, so he's clearly more robust than I thought he was. So let's un let's try to understand what the frick is going on in battle mode, right? So your pets not only operate on the farm, they can go on adventures. Uh, level 10 or higher divided into three tiers. The adventures consist of B-Pet, derived from 10% of the total revenue generated from purchases in their store, pet upgrades, factory upgrades from the previous day. 10% uh, of total revenue in B-Pet is evenly distributed among the tiers and adventure based on the proportion of players in each tier. The higher level the pet, the more B-Pet they get in that reward. Tier 2 has more rewards than Tier 1. There is a chance to receive X egg fragments ranging from one to five stars when participating in an adventure. These X egg fragments can be combined to create NFT eggs ranging from one to five stars. So maybe they're looking to introduce more of a breeding mechanic. And that breeding mechanic is what made Crypto Kitties and Axie Infinity incredibly viral. Uh, so do not you know, overlook that aspect. A key reason you're gonna to wanna to use our code, by the way, is by the end of this video, our pet is going to be higher than level seven. So it's essentially a booster function. So your returns are literally boosted by using our code as opposed to using the common code uh, that they give you from their Twitter. So running through the rest of their documentation, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, the only thing that is kind of like RNG is finding a hidden chest. Explore Twitter and discover hidden chests. These special rewards make your pet even happier and help you both succeed um the whole mechanic here is basically you know do these functions do these tasks because you want to find these ta the, these chests and in these chats chests geez i can't even talk there's b pet food broom needle and a shield so you know these are all items to basically support and boost your pet or simply b pet tokens a special token that holds significant value uh in their ecosystem and it seems to imply that the higher level your pet is, the better rewards uh, you will get as well. Uh, they encourage you know, more participation in basically money and coins flowing into their ecosystem um, with their whole borrow and staking uh, ecosystem that they have been building. So let's look at that, right? When you go to their homepage, it's the borrow. It's the first tab you can find. Uh, and so you can put Ethereum in here and borrow at a 0% interest rate. Uh, and you can get it back, say, like, whenever you want. Uh, so if you did this, you could borrow this many expat tokens. Uh, and then uh, you could come back and repay this. Uh, so they also have the convert function. And any moment now in the convert function, you are able to convert B pet tokens into expat tokens. Uh, so, for example... If we want to go ahead and convert one B pet, it looks like it has a straight conversion rate into one X pet, uh, but the minimum's going to be 50. So if you have at least 50 coins, you can convert them into X pet. I don't have enough Ethereum in my wallet at this current time to do that. And to be frank, I don't really want to because I want to upgrade my factory and, and uh, you know see that that boost and the uh, farming mechanic and. You know play around with this a little bit more and just kind of see you know where where can this really possibly go right so if we look up xpet on coin gecko it comes in at a dollar 37 a coin uh they are on a few exchanges so far uh most notably the decentralized exchange of uniswap and there's also mexi which we've uh shown recently uh and there's some pretty decent volume on here especially on the Arbitrum pairings uh, for the XPET token. They're also tracking BPET here. Uh, this is another, this is that other token in their ecosystem, right? And this is very important uh, because the game clearly seems to revolve around uh, this cryptocurrency. And basically, if you wanted to speed run the game, you could go and uh, acquire these XPET tokens or these BPET tokens and convert them into, you know, whichever one you want. Uh, you know, for example, you could go out and buy a thousand B pet tokens, you know, per the coin gecko market here for $532. Uh, 
Uh, these are all trading in decentralized pairings here on Uniswap on Arbitrum. What's interesting though, is the way that they are working with uh, OKX on their Santa hat giveaway. Uh, and I'm gonna need an English conversion here, boys. So let's go ahead and connect my Arbitrum wallet and we will add this to the cart. We will buy it. Wow, so at a glance, seeing the Arbitrum icon, I thought this was 0.03 ARB. That's like, not even a dollar. But this is 0.03 Arbitrum Ethereum. <laughs> this is $70. There's a surprising amount of volume here. 337 Ethereum. That's nearly a million dollars. So when we look around, we see all of their NFTs are listed in the OKX marketplace we see that uh the token is tracked on okx's site but the trading of this cryptocurrency is not currently supported on okx uh so it does make me wonder is there a relationship uh developing and brewing here is a listing on the way or are they merely just using their marketplace in a decentralized manner right oh <laughs> should look at that just found an expat chest on my tweet so i am fine so that i can open it see look th this is my gripe though with, with the way that this mechanic has been integrated this would be a great way to just increase my participation honestly with twitter or x now right uh by just letting me reply to say dan mcgowan and the chest encouraged me to click on this and check this tweet and read the replies and the chest icon should be on the tweet, and then when you click the tweet, the chest is actually sitting next to one of the replies, which basically forces or encourages you to engage with someone else on Twitter to create a conversation. And, you know, maybe have the mechanic like give you a one, two, three, five percent boost on your chest rewards. It should be so small that you're not just like typing whatever you want to type and then putting an expat. I feel like that kind of forced engagement is also likely to get this word banned by other users, algorithm pick it up as just being spammy, right? And, and it knows, right? Because when you give it access to your Twitter, it can, it can read it, it, it knows what's going on. So you see, I just tweeted that and now I click open and it's thinking, it's searching, it's wondering, it's looking for love and all the wrong places. All right, just to make sure we don't mess this up. Let's open it in another tab. Did he claim my chest? Did you take my chest, Jack Neto? I don't know, I don't. All right, so so here's here's the chest. I, I All right, so there there's the, ah, uh, all right, we got an apple. But yeah, anyway, you get my point, right? Um, So I, I, honestly, I, I really do think this is cool and you know, when anyone like sponsors a video on Bosscoin, they, they don't buy favor, like you pay for coverage. And we're fortunate to get a lot of inquiries here on the Bosscoin YouTube channel, and we turn a lot of stuff away. And so, you know, I, I do find this interesting. I wanted to dig into this, and I appreciate the support on that front. Um, but the beauty is that, you know, literally in our terms is like, hey, by the way, Voss is gonna say whatever he wants to say, because the goal is to, you know, have fun, keep it real, and keep it 100 with you guys as always. Uh, honestly, I, I do think this is cool. I do think this is fun. I think this is simple. I think it's engaging. This is like the kind of simple app that could honestly go viral. Uh, where is it held back? It's held back specifically with the way that the chest engagement is farmed. Um, I honestly, I, I think I would even like this better without the chest mechanic uh, as it stands because I'm not going to go run around Twitter just commenting a bunch of expat spam. Uh, again, how I explained it earlier, I think it would a great, be a great way to just have you organically participate and utilize you know, the Twitter app as you normally would, and then RNG get chest bonuses, right? If it was like that, I'd be like speedrunning Twitter. I'd be like, yo, what's up? Hey, tweeting. Yo, what's up, guys? What are you tweeting about over here? Oh, reply guy, hello. And then, you know, farming along the way. That is just a much healthier mechanic and, and way to go about this than you know the forced engagement uh, that it currently has. I'm absolutely thrilled that uh, Gray Bert the Gray is able to fight this giant rock monster. Just checked on him, he's still doing good. 
Um, at the same time, he's also taking a bath um, at the berry farm, uh, a waterfall. So, you know, good job, little guy. Oh. oh, see you later, little buddy. Keep doing what you do. Uh, but, but yeah, in all seriousness, you know, that's the review. Uh, I love the fact that it's free to get started with this. I think that's incredibly uh, beneficial and more engaging. I think this is nice that it's on a layer two blockchain like Arbitrum. I hope that that helps grow a very good layer two blockchain like Arbitrum, uh, much better than Ethereum, obviously, even though it's ironically powered by Ethereum. I would love to see Arbitrum honestly just kind of break away from uh, grandfather Ethereum and run their chain with their ARB governance token, uh, make it a true utility token. Uh, but you know, that's the civil war I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for it, I'm ready for it. So I hope that you are ready to subscribe to the Bioscoin YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Hopefully, maybe. Let me know in the comments what X-Pet you got. Did you get? Did you get a Luna Cat like me or something else?